Biology 400 students, this is Mr. Gales, and tonight I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to do your exam through Blackboard. I noticed earlier that some of you have already done it. I can see your grades in the gradebook on Blackboard, but for those of you that may need a little additional help, here it is. You should start by having your uh, exam procedure sheet in front of you. And remember, the key idea here is that you have to sign, have a, either a teacher or your parent sign off that you complete the exam without additional class materials or assistance. Uh, also remember that the exam has to be done by Friday, September 14th. As a matter of fact, the exam will disappear at 3.30 on the 14th. Uh, you need to make sure you have it done before then. You can take it in A219 or A220 before or after school or in the library or you can take it at home. And when you're ready to get started, um, you, when you have the sheet and you're all set and ready to take the test, first thing you need to do is go ahead and log into Blackboard. So I'm going to jump over to that screen. This is my home page in Blackboard, and what you'll see is pretty similar. You're going to go to My Courses, go to Mr. Gales. And the announcement that you're going to look for here is Friday, September 7th. This is the announcement from just a few days ago. And at the bottom of that announcement, there's a course link. That's, this is the most direct way to get to this exam. So go to the course link, click on it, and it's going to bring up the exam information. Now remember, this is a, a limit of 50 minutes. You probably won't need anywhere near that much time, but you have it just in case. Keep in mind, though, that test will save and submit automatically after 50 minutes, whether you're done or not. And you do need to complete this test in one sitting, so please make sure that you don't have somewhere that you need to be in 10 minutes if you're going to start this test. All right, so once you're done, or once you're ready to go, you can go ahead and click Begin. So we'll start that, and the test will open up. And what you should notice here is that there are all the questions. So you can take a, you can look at a question, and if you feel like you need to go back over it or whatever, you can change them later. One additional thing I wanted to point out to you is that there are um, none of these questions are repeats, although they may look like it. If you look at question seven here, there's, um, you know, this is of a graph of some potato, ma uh, potato cores and their masses and different salt solutions. There's a question like that there, and you see another question later in the test. Here's a question on 25. It's the same graph. Um, another example of that here is this is a scientist is talking about the feeding behavior of catfish, and there are you know a few different questions that go along with that so right here same it's the same scenario but it's a different question so just make sure you read the questions carefully um, when you get completely finished and you're all the way done uh, down at the bottom you can save and submit you don't need to save your answers because you have to do this all in one setting so you're gonna save and submit and it's gonna tell you what questions you may not have completed and it'll give you the option of returning to the test if you click cancel it'll return to the test if you click OK, then it's going to submit, and you'll have to uh, then you'll be able to see what your score was. So you click OK to view your results. OK is in the lower right hand corner over here, and what you should see is your score out of 31. Hopefully, you do better than zero out of 31. And then for each question, it's going to give you um, the answer that you submit and whether or not that is a correct answer. So that's how you take the test. Now when you're done taking the test, you need to remember that you have to take this form and either have uh, the supervising teacher at school or a supervising parent sign off that you did this test on your own without additional resources. And that's it. That's how you do it. If you've got any questions, uh, feel free to email either Mr. Workman or myself. I um, would be available before and after school for help as well. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Pretty easy process. Do it on your own. Do it at school. Do it at home, whatever works for you. All right, we'll see you in biology.